Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and uh, since yesterday I wasn't able to uh, share with you my weekly recap as we had a, a presentations uh, from our masterclass uh, which will be uh, held in Beta House each uh, Wednesday from uh, 7 o'clock Bulgarian time. Uh, we had the first presentation yesterday and we will have four more. Uh, they are very uh, good and suitable for beginner traders. We'll teach you uh, the basic uh, knowledge you need in order to start trading profitably on the markets. Uh, so today the time has come for me to share my weekly recap with you. Now last week uh, I shared with you a trading plan on the Great British Pound Japanese Yen currency pair. Uh, you're currently seeing this plan on your screens. Uh, this is the plan posted on TradingView and uh, the time frame is 4 hours. Now what was the idea behind the plan? Uh, after a very uh, long uptrend the price has reached this H4 resistance area from where I expected to see a bounce uh, all the way down to this H4 support area which would have been our first target then probably to see a short uh, correction and then a continuation of the move down to the H4 support area 2 uh, which was our second target. Now this is just uh, the basics if you want to learn more about this plan you can check the uh, video with the technical analysis from last week. Now let's see what happened. As you can see uh, shortly after I posted the plan uh, the pair broke out of this H4 resistance uh, which we also uh, included as a scenario so here in this area uh, we were not looking to uh, trade it so at the first few days we didn't have any chance to open any positions on that pair but as, as you can see uh, the movement up was very short uh, and from there the price started uh, going down as you can see after it reached the H4 resistance uh, it stopped for a while here so uh, this area acted as a support and then it was broken with a very strong uh, bearish candle I think this is on uh, Friday uh, in the evening the last candle or one of the last candles for the uh, for the week and uh, after that uh, we were back online with our uh, plan to short the pair. Uh, now I'll turn on the uh, live chart and I want to talk a bit about uh, the opportunities we had. You can see after that we just had a move down, a correction back to that H4 resistance and after that a huge drop into uh, of the price and uh, it just uh, covered both target areas and is currently standing uh, around 50 pips below this H4 support target too. Now uh, this is the live chart and I want to show you what opportunities uh, we had. So obviously after this break here uh, we were not going to continue following, following the plan uh, if the price continued going up but a uh, very interesting thing happened. You can see that after that we had this move then the price retraced back to the this H4 resistance and in this case we were anticipating probably a continuation of the uptrend but instead of that we saw a huge uh, bearish candle breaking back below the H4 resistance which was a support at that time so this was a good uh, place to try and enter of course on a lower time frame it would be better we could have entered like in the middle of this candle uh, but still if you miss this one you can see that after that it just covered uh, almost fully the price went to our H4 support target too uh, <clears throat> but uh, you can see it just stopped here and then we saw a correction back to this H4 resistance uh, which gave a chance uh, to those of you who missed to enter here to look for an entry again right here when the plan was posted. You can see after that 
Uh, we, we saw first a short move down, reaching to the H4 support target one, uh, from where we saw a bounce, a pretty short bounce, and now today this huge drop, uh, which could have uh, given us some great, great results. Now, turning on to the H1, I just want to uh, show you a few possible spots on a lower time frame as the H4. Uh, although it gave some good um, entry spots, they were not perfect. So it's better to sometimes look at uh, some uh, lower time frames in order to find uh, better spots. Now, one of the places was over here, but this was more of a day trade since you can see that the price consolidated for a while there. And after that, it just dropped, but um, the problem with an entry here, after the break, so on this candle, was that uh, the target should have been this area, this H4 resistance, which turned into support. Now, after that, um, here we, can, we could have entered uh, at the end of this candle, which is basically the end of the H4 candle. Still a little bit of a risky trade since uh, it is extremely close to this uh, H4 support target one here, but uh, you could have uh, made some uh, short-term profits of this trade. Actually, the gap would have made it for you. Uh, the price continued further down uh, from this H4 support target one, but uh, we could have not known that. Uh, we were expecting a bounce from that area. Nevertheless, uh, here you can see how the price returned back uh, to this H4 resistance and we saw some nice reactions. Um, I see the first possible entry point right here at the end of the red candle. You can see we are having an engulfing, which is at the same time keeping the price on the H4 below the H4 resistance. So a good an entry here would be perfect with a stop loss placed above the last uh, top, the last swing. You can see that the price never reached back there and just dropped. Uh, here it was, it would have been extremely hard to enter. You can see uh, how volatile the market was in this area. And um, we had some extremely uh, strong movements. But if you're trading, if you were trading it short term and uh, uh, on a daily basis, you could have again entered on this uh, small candle here and uh, close some profits on this area. Uh, after that, the last possible entry point which I see is uh, basically this small sort of a consolidation which we had here. This was, I think, an anticipation of the news uh, and you can see that after the break of the bottom of this square formation, we had a huge drop in the price. So an entry here would also be good with, again, a stop loss placed above uh, the H4 resistance, just in case. Uh, all of those trades I would have recommended for you to take with uh, a lower investment as the price of this pair and actually uh, the GBP price was very volatile in the past few days and it was kind of hard to predict where it might go. It could have just stopped here and then uh, bounced back up to that area. But, uh, you know, with a small investment, it is okay. Uh, even if you have some losing trades, you have winning ones like this one, which will actually uh, give you a lot more profit. Now, this is it uh, regarding uh, this recap on this plan. Uh, I already posted a trading plan uh, yesterday, uh, the day actually on Tuesday this week, and it already fulfilled great. I hope you managed to catch uh, some profits from this one and from the new one, and you can expect my uh, new trading plan next week with a recap for the plan from this week. Uh, as well, uh, if you haven't joined our Telegram channel, do it now. Uh, this is where we post our live signals based on that those plans and. Of course, if we see other good opportunities from our other plans, uh, we tend to share some of them with you as a live signals. Thank you very much and our team wishes you uh, a great day and a great end of the week.